In the 17th century, there was still some hope that, even if the Earth was not the center of the universe, it might be the only world. But Galileo's telescope revealed that, quote, the moon certainly does not possess a smooth and polished surface, close quote, and that other worlds might look just like the face of the Earth itself. The moon and the planets showed unmistakably that they had as much claim to being worlds as the Earth does, with mountains, craters, atmospheres, polar ice caps, clouds, and, in the case of Saturn, a dazzling, unheard-of set of circumferential rings. After millennia of philosophical debate, the issue was settled decisively in favor of what was called the plurality of worlds. They might be profoundly different from our planet. None of them might be as congenial for life. But the Earth was hardly the only one. This was the next in the series of great demotions, downlifting experiences, demonstrations of our apparent insignificance, wounds that science has in its search for Galileo's facts, delivered to human pride. Well, some hoped, even if the Earth isn't at the center of the universe, the Sun is. The Sun is our Sun. So the Earth is approximately at the center of the universe. Perhaps some of our pride could in this way be salvaged. But by the 19th century, observational astronomy had made it clear that the Sun is but one lonely star in a great self-gravitating assemblage of suns called the Milky Way galaxy. Far from being at the center of the galaxy, our sun with its entourage of dim and tiny planets lies in an undistinguished sector of an obscure spiral arm. We are 30,000 light-years from the center. 